Owner of Jim Stakes is determined to rebuild after the Philadelphia landmark was heavily damaged in a fire on Friday. Today, Eyewitness News got an inside look at the now boarded up restaurant. The fire left a lot of debris inside. There's broken glass to clean up and cherished memories to restore. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payu says other neighborhood businesses are also feeling the pain of the fire at Jim's. The line usually wraps around the corner, but now barricades block people from getting in. Tonight, we learn this fire at Jim's is impacting more than just them. Jim's is an institution down here. You don't think of South Street and not think of it. It's an iconic restaurant on an iconic street, now outfitted with boarded windows, barricades, and piles and piles of debris. Watch your step, Rick. Monday, Eyewitness News took a back seat as the owner of Jim Steaks on South Street walked into this cheesesteak staple for the first time since a fire tore through it Friday. We'll go through the building. Uh, we'll see, uh, you know, how devastatingly bad it is because, as you can see from the back, that we got a new. The roof is caved in. The fire marshal says the devastation is the result of electrical wiring. The only thing not in ashes, pieces of autographed history mounted on the wall. I have. Like so many Bon Jovi signatures and pictures, yeah. like I have a whole Bon Jovi like file. Like, they just keep coming in and, and signing. <laughs> While not everything was a total loss, the fire put 33 employees out of work and also brought soot, smoke, and water damage to the next door eyes gallery. It's real gut punch. The loss of two iconic businesses is, uh, you know, really impactful to. Our business community, and they're really important for South Street. For some business owners, like Janae Robinson Dean, this fire is just a continuation of an unsavory summer on South Street. Many of them depend on people coming to the area to go to gyms. Business has been slow down here ever since the shooting. Obviously, things had just started to pick back up a little bit. Um, and then this recent fire at gyms, it's not making it any better. But she says time heals all wounds, and eventually the South Street spirit will prevail. When I left here Friday, I was devastated. And at, you know, 12 30, 1 o'clock Saturday, I was okay. You know, this, this could be a hell of a lot worse. We will do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. City inspectors say the building is structurally sound and the owner hopes to have cheesesteaks back on the grill by Memorial Day 2023. On South Street, Jasmine Pay, UCBS 3 Eyewitness News.